Hi there, today we're going to take a look at creating text on a path in Photoshop. Um, using paths in Photoshop is quite simple. You can use path based on drawing a path with the pen tool, which is the preferred method, um, or you could use shapes. We're going to use the pen tool kind of in the easy way and then kind of in the better way that's a little more complicated. Um, talk about some tips for dealing with those. So let's get right to it. Um, the pen tool works by creating um, your paths by just clicking over and over and over again um, and creating what are called anchor points. Now the pen draws paths. Paths are invisible. They're not real. Um, they're just there for us to attach text to. So you want to make sure it's set the path up here. And then let's say I was going to create it on this um, red line here. I would click and then click and then click and you just kind of keep going around the, around the curve you know, for however long that you might need that path. Kind of hard to click perfectly with a mouse, but you know, it is what it is. You edit the path, like if you need to move a point, say you have a point that's like you know, over here and you don't need that one. When you're finished with the path, first off, you hit escape and then the path will become this, just a blue line. Again, it's not really blue though, it's just a path. Um, to edit the path, you can go two buttons down. It's really the buttons we're gonna use are these three. And you go to this direct selection tool. That lets you select those anchor points. So now if I click on here, see I can move this little guy down here where it goes, or if I had other ones that needed to be repositioned a little bit, I can move them. Okay, and that's what this little white arrow tool is for. So it's just one that lets you adjust those points. All right, now if I'm fine with that, I'll switch this back to the black arrow, and then you know press escape again so that we just have the path. Then to add the text, it's pretty simply, you just click on your type tool, um, and then point your mouse to the end of the path. It's going to change from this to where there's, a, see that line? So here's not, and there's the line. Okay, then once we press the, uh, we click our mouse, we're going to get a cursor. See, it's blinking up and down. Um, and then here's a problem a lot of people have, okay? And it happens sometimes, but not all the time. It depends on what you have it clicked on. So I don't have this clicked on left. I always suggest that people do. I don't because I want to show you how this gets all messed up because it confuses people. Notice how my cursor is blinking. That tells you what size my font will be. That looks fine. And then there's this white circle. That white circle generally represents the end of where you can type on the path. So if I start typing right now, I'm going to type, it's a great day. I T apostrophe S space A space G R E A T space D A Y exclamation mark. Of course, you don't see me typing half that because you can't see it because it doesn't fit on the path. But if I hit OK here, watch my layer one. See, it says it's a great day. The words are in there. You just can't see them. And that's because this little dot indicates that my path stops there. So you're going to take this black tarot tool, not the white one, that's for moving points, the black tool, which is our path selection. And you're going to be looking for this little one-sided black arrow, that one. And you just start pulling. All right, there we go. So now I've pulled close to the end. I'm not all the way to the end. I could keep going further. Uh, but that's changing the end. So you can kind of see, like, there's a middle point. Here's the ending point. And I've got this set to where it's justified. Let's pull up the character panel or paragraph panel, rather, so you can see. I've got it on justified here. You should probably either set it on center, so it's centered on the path or left if I wanted it from the end. I'm going to put it on left because that's usually what I tell students to do. And then I'm going to select all these words. Now you have to switch back to the type tool, so don't start selecting it with this black arrow or this is what's going to happen. It's going to start moving your words around. That's not what we're after, okay? So switch back to your type tool, click in here anywhere, and if you want to select all the words, just press Control and A. That selects everything, and then you can just point here and make your font bigger until it fits. So now it fits fine on my path. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And there we go. Again, that little blue line that we see now, it doesn't really exist. It's just a path. When we click on the background, it goes away. Can't see it anymore. It won't print or, or show when you save this out or export it or anything like that. Okay. So that's kind of the basic way to use the pen tool. Just dot, 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 dot. Type tool, click on there on the edge of the path. And then if you have to edit the path, this black arrow tool. The black arrow tool, if you point to your, and again, you got to click back on the text layer. So if I want to work on this, I have to click back on the layer. I can take this black tool. Notice there's this arrow here that's pointing off to the side, the sides. There's also sometimes um, an arrow that goes both directions. Um, and I'm not seeing a two-sided arrow with this particular one. 
Um, but sometimes you'll see a double-sided arrow, and that will let you flip it to the other side of the path. If you can get that black arrow, like there. I just pulled even though I didn't see the arrow. Oh, I got it all kinds of going crazy now. I'm just going to keep pulling. It doesn't look so good on that side, but so I pulled the black arrow in, in until it flipped this onto the other side of the path. I'm just going to do the same thing and flip it back the other way. There we go. All right. So the thing is you have to be patient with this thing. So sometimes it's it's kind of complicated. All right, so that's basically that. Now another thing you really have to watch with the type tool is if you put two paths that are really close to each other, um, these probably aren't that close to each other, but um, if I were to create another path like right here, sometimes, and again, I'm gonna press escape, sometimes it's hard to get your type tool in the right place. Now I'm gonna explain why. So like if you can't get that arrow to, to show up, sometimes it means that this text box is in the way and it thinks you wanna get in that text box so it doesn't line you up to set up text on a path. You can simply turn off the layer that's already there so you can just deal with the one that you need. Now again, I suggest always putting this on left, okay? And then give it a click at the beginning of the path. Usually then it puts that ending circle at the end of the path. So hello there. All right. And that's that. Again, if you want to change the color or whatever, click anywhere in the path with the type tool, control A, and then you can make whatever changes that you need to make. And then press your OK button to institute those changes. Again, if I needed to make changes this path, click and hold the black arrow to the white arrow, click on the path to get all the anchor points. Oops, I clicked on the end. Um, I moved whatever that little line is. I don't even know. We'll have to fix it in a minute. Um, and then you can move your points around. So I'll point, point, whatever points you need to move. And then again, back to the black arrow if I need to scoot things down. I'll scoot that back because I messed it up. Okay. Just don't be afraid to mess with these things. If you know your words are there because they're going to show up over here, then you're okay. All right. So the other way to move on is to use the pen tool to draw a curved path that doesn't have all these anchor points. Because my, my anchor points made this kind of pointy, to be honest, for what should be a curved path. So I'm going to click back to the background layer because I don't like all those paths to be showing all the time. It confuses me. And then I'm going to click here on my pen tool. The way I explain to people to use the pen tool is to think of a rainbow or an arch. So like this is one side of my rainbow and this is the other side of my rainbow, for example. So you click once here to start your path, then at the end of the rainbow, click, but don't let go. Because if I let go, it would, it would, you know, connect those two dots. That's not what I want. And then you're going to pull. See this little guy? It's like a little seesaw. This are your adjustment handles. Oops. And your adjustment handles, which by the way, it's a great example of why you should zoom out before you use adjustment handles. And these adjustment handles allow you to move this around. And so as you pull on this little seesaw, see how it's moving the arch? Now don't pay attention to the ends of the seesaw, only pay attention to your path, where you started and where it ended. Okay, that's not perfect, but it's okay. So there's the beginning, there's the end, I just let go, and I'm going to press escape. Okay, now here's my path, it's off a little bit, no worries, remember we go to that white direct selection tool, click on there, and then now, since this is one of these kinds, I can pull back on this. So see, now I can fix that up. I need to scoot it out a little bit or reposition it. I can do so. All right, and just escape again to, to get out of there. Okay, and we're all good to go. We take our T, our type tool, um, point to the path. I'll use a different font here real quick. Uh, point to the path, get that line. Make sure it's on left because that makes it easier. Give it a click and then just start typing. All right, and that's that. Okay. Um, so that's the, that's the real basics of it. Let's go ahead and take a look, too, at using shapes. You can use shapes, say a circle, for a path. I'm going to use press my space bar to get my hand tool so I can scoot over here out of the way. Um, I can take this circle, and again, click off your paths, just because sometimes paths get glued together, and I couldn't tell you why exactly, but so it doesn't happen. Click on your background, so you're starting fresh. I've got a circle, but instead of drawing a shape, I've got a path. So now I can click and drag and draw my path. And if you wanted a perfect circle, you could hold shift and it forces it. But if you wanted an oval, then you could not. So notice now I have a path. And then I can do just like before. Take my type tool, click somewhere on the path, 
and that will be the starting point since I'm on left. And then I just start typing. Start typing around the path. Okay. If you needed to move it, remember we've got that black arrow tool. You can point here and change the beginning of the path or the end of the path. So right now I'm moving the end of the path, but now I can move the beginning of the path. Scoop this this way. Here's the end of the path. Oops, actually, I guess that was the beginning of the path. It does get confusing sometimes. You just have to kind of keep messing with them, make sure you have a hold of the right thing. They get kind of inside out of each other. Okay, see that one points the other direction. Um, you can see here how easy it is to just like accidentally start flipping it around to the other side. There we go. All right, so we got it on there. Um, yeah, so if you pull in, you can flip it into the path. So see how I just kind of pulled in there and flipped it. Um, all kinds of fun little things here that you can do <laughs> putting your words around the path. But I personally find it to be a little easier to deal with the pen paths, just to be honest. Um, so anyway, um, that's the basics of putting text on a path. Just remember, if you're having any problems with your path, click off the path first off. Um, that's always a good idea. If you're trying to draw a new one, click back on your background first just so nothing gets messed up. If you're having trouble connecting to the path, like you can't get that little line to show up to put the text on the path, turn off any nearby text boxes so that you don't get them like stuck together, you know, if you will. And then just, just draw your path and then turn those back on in a minute. So I click from the other side of this little rainbow. Again, I'm going to zoom out, control minus, minus, so I can see better. All right, and then I've got my other side of the rainbow. I'm just going to click and drag and pull. Just simply like that, nothing big. Escape to get that path in there, text tool. And there we go, I got that right there. That was easy. And then of course you could choose to center it on your path if you want it centered or whatever. I just think it's easiest to start with it at the left when you start. And then again, just click back on your background layer. Um, turn on your other ones if you have any that overlap or whatever. You can still move your text with the move tool. So even though it's stuck to a path, you can still move it around with the move tool. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this quick lesson on dealing with text on a path using the pen tool and tapes.